Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Tower of Fantasy videos today. And today, we'll be going over the event a little bit. And we'll be playing a new game mode, a new piece of content inside of Tower of Fantasy. That I don't know if it's going to be permanent or if it's going to last a couple of months, period. But what I do know is, is if we open up this little event tab right here. We got little different events right here. One that started on the seventh month, the eighth day. And it's going to last all the way to two months. So that's a two-month period where you'll be able to play these different game modes. They're going to open up at different time. It's called the Heat Wave Events. And essentially what you're going to do, I haven't collected a lot of it. I collected one-third of the currency so far. You're going to collect currency. You're going to play mini games, essentially. You can play it as much as you want. Even after you have filled the capacity, you can still continue to play the mini games for fun because some of them are quite fun. So you're gonna have different events. You can actually buy some of these red orbs, which I'm gonna do right now because I kind of need that. You have these little discs right here. I'm not sure what they do. I'm probably gonna have to ask someone in Tower of Fantasy Discord to see what it is, or I'm gonna have to translate it myself or test it out, which I'm gonna probably end up wasting it to do that. But what we are gonna do really quickly, because I have an addiction to trying to pull for this character. Beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do right here is, not this, this right here. I'm going to do a temple. And what I'm going to do is, even if I keep failing, I'm going to buy those 50 thing boxes. Because I don't want to convert to the black currency. Damn, they, they're they not letting me get one. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can make it to like 18 or whatever. And try to see if I can get a copy of her. I should be able to get one more copy of her. I went very deep in. And even if I don't, like I said, I'll hop over to the shopping mall or whatever and I'll buy one of these boxes which essentially give me one of the chips so I can get um, procs for her abilities. But I think they're if I use aerial anyways which will increase my aerial damage. Anyhow, that's not this type of guy. This is literally about this game mode which is called tag. So what you're going to do is queue for it. And essentially what's going to happen is it's going to give you, if I'm not mistaken, a 60, a minute to 30 seconds timer for you to run around, I guess, pick like your location or whatever, or for people to queue in if they still want to queue in. I think there's a maximum of eight players, depending on what place you get, it's going to give you a reward. It's going to give someone with some type of coronavirus. And basically what you're going to do with coronavirus is you're going to try and touch someone else give them COVID-19 and then COVID-19 will magically leave your body before the timer runs out of course and everybody's gonna transform into these nuts or you're gonna see in a little bit actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be a surprise or whatever <laughs> luckily I have my computer on turbo because I'm not trying to have this lag when I record it so yeah this is the map not quite big when you die you come up here right here I can't attack but you come up here where my mouse is at and this is the little area where you get to run around there is also going to be a blue triangle if you walk through it it's right there actually let me see where it takes you oh shit i missed it but there's this little blue triangle it's going to teleport you somewhere where the hell was okay so it's going to teleport you right there and you have to run into that end so you're going to transform into these little characters with these different abilities I go invisible with this. Right. So yeah, someone's gonna have that. They're gonna have the blue little orb over their head. And what they're gonna do is try and tag someone else. So that way, they can give it to someone else so they don't get eliminated. If you're not able to catch someone before times run out, but if you're near them, You'll lose it, and then the person next to them will most likely get it, from what I've seen. The closest to them. Actually, no, nah, that person over there got it. But usually it gives it to the person next to them. So he got that person over there. Now he has it, and what he's going to do is he's going to come chase us over here. Oh, shit. I almost died. I went in viz on him. So I went on vids on him, he couldn't see me. So this is the character ability that I got. Damn, he passed it to him. I need to look. So 
So now he's dead. I really don't want the bubble, you know? Cool. And when you're the hunter, I'm eventually get it, right? I never came in first place for this yet. So I'm gonna definitely get it eventually. Okay, he seems safe. So who got it then? Oh shit, he got it. So he got it. Don't give me COVID-19, bro. I really don't want COVID-19. I'm trying to live, bro. Yeah, I really like this character. It allows him to go invisible for a short duration. Bro, I really don't want the COVID. I'm trying to live, bro. I'm trying to come in first. So you flash them. Cool, cool, cool. That's what one of the character ability is. And she's chasing him. I'm gonna hop over here. I'm gonna hop up here. He almost caught me. He literally almost caught me. He moving fast as hell, bro. Okay. No, bro. Why did I have to get it, bro? You ain't fooling me, bro. Oh, shit. That was fast as fuck. I fucked that up. I'm not finna win, am I? Oh, shit. Let me up there, please, bro. They can still see the bubble. This is a scam. But yeah, that's how that game mode played. You can definitely catch people. And the reason why is because depending on what character you play, you either get a teleport, which you can use for momentum like how I did, but I fucked that up. Because there's some people that like to abuse what I call like that little jump pad right there. Some of these characters got double jump, which is the character she was playing. She had double jump, so... That's really OP on that little jump pad right there. Um, some characters, they get speed boosts. Some characters, they get um, a dash like how I did when they're the hunter. If not, um, I got invisible or whatever. I don't think I could use my ability. Even if I did or could, it didn't matter because of the fact that you can still see I have coronavirus. But let's go ahead and pop up into there one more time just to see if I get a different character. Let's see. Just give me a different character game so that way I can show all the viewers that every time you come in here, and there's a chance that you can spawn in here and you can be the first hunter. Which is, I feel a lot easier to do than trying to get it at like second or third place and catch someone. Because it's literally like 1v1. If they're juking and breaking your ankles, then like, what are you supposed to do? Like, that person was fucking my ankles up, bruh. Like, they was just better than me at movement. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the mobile players are gonna be having a seizure about this. Because this shit is a lot harder on mobile. At least for me, it is. Mobile gamers, bruh. And then since I was the last person to die or whatever, I didn't come up here. Cause I was the I was the last loser, essentially, or what they'll call second place first loser. But we're waiting, waiting for Q. I get in my position, which is right here. These characters have a lot of different skins. I think that's the little character they use the scythe skin. That's the one custom skin. That's Ruby right there. That's the ice person over there I think so I got this character he essentially puts a shield on himself when like someone has corona he can just bounce them away from him which is really cool I'm watching him to make sure he doesn't get up here he just ran around that's cool so I like this character a lot actually I really like Maya though because she has double jump which is really good in my personal opinion. So she actually got hit by that, so. Oh shit. I blocked him. This is why this move comes in such 
clutch because of that. You can put a shield on yourself and it stays on you for quite a bit of time. Okay. I forgot all about this character. I'm glad they actually covered this because I didn't actually cover this. Yeah, someone has a camera, bruh. And it, and it flashes you and it calls you to be blind as fuck and it's actually really strong. Okay, that person got caught. Yo, you're not gonna get COVID around me, right? Damn, he, he ran. What the fuck is that? Hey, yo, he got COVID, bro. Oh, he don't see me. He don't see me. Maybe he's a mobile gamer. Is he just gonna stand there and die? You're not, you're not gonna try? Oh, hell no. Oh, he called him. He don't got COVID no more. Let's go. Damn, she got caught. See, this is why it's better to get it, why there's a lot more people so you can give it to other people. Because some people like to cluster up like us, like you can most likely hit one of us. Instead of just being 1v1. Then it becomes very hard to hit someone as Hunter. Yeah, she moving fast as hell, you know? Let me let me get the fuck away from you. Up, oh, she almost got him. She getting close. Damn, she got him. That's fuck. He's not gonna have that much time to return the COVID back. Yeah. That's so fucked. He got caught at the last minute. Up, oh, he passed it back. Oh, she's dead, bro. It's over. She's actually so fucked. And then he got it put to him. I pressed my ability, bro. And now it comes out. <laughs> oh, Lord. What the fuck is she riding, bro? Oh, I'm so dead, bro. It's over. And this is where you come at if you manage to not die in second or if you don't win the game. You win the game, you get a lot of points for it or whatever. But yeah, that's how you play this game mode. I, I call it tag, which is what I typed in my Discord when someone asked, what's your favorite game mode? I said tag. Because it's personally fun, especially if you play it like with like friends or whatever. But like... You know, I, I I don't have any friends on this game because, you know, it's CN, you know, it, and it hurts a lot. But anyhow, um, it'd definitely be fun when that comes out to global. People can hop in Discord calls and have fun with it or whatever. And you'll get currency from it, which you can use in-game, which you can use to upgrade your character, essentially, for other events that you might need it for. So, yeah, if you guys did like the video, if you did like the mini game that Tower Fantasy added to the game, put a thumbs up for it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.